For MRDEC, we are the overall program lead for the Degraded Visual Environment Program, and that's any environment where you don't really see as well as you see during the day. And it really started back in 03 after we went into Iraq and Afghanistan and we encountered brownout. Uh, we lost some aircraft, and so we wanted to integrate technology that would give our crews the ability to safely land. Does anybody who's heard a helicopter fly or seen it land can see the amount of wind or air that it kicks up? So we call brownout an induced environment because our aircraft kick up so much dust that typically when you land in those environments or you take off, you cannot see out the window anymore. And so the question is, how do you give the crew the right information, the right flight controls, so that they can take off out of that environment if they're taking off out of a desert environment or land safely in that environment as well? So what we are doing is integrating a lot of different sensors that are on the nose. Just think about like the, the bumper radars that we now have on cars that tell you when you're getting near something. Those types, but more technologically advanced. And then we're creating a picture out of that. So it's not a visual picture that you see with your eyes. It's a synthetic picture, a virtual picture, if you will. And it detects all the obstacles. So I'm flying in route down a valley. It will tell me if I have power lines. That's what we want to be able to do. I mean, the example that I, I like to use it, that's most pertinent is if you have a ground element that comes in contact and you have a wounded soldier and you've got that, that golden hour and you have heavy fog, how do I get a medevac out to them so that I can get that soldier loaded on it and get them back to, to a, a hospital? We've got to give our aviators the ability because they want to go, they will try to go, they want to save that soldier that's on the ground. That is the sacred bond between Army Aviation and the ground soldier that Army Aviation supports. And so that's really what we're trying to do with all of the efforts throughout AMRDEC. And it's not just AMRDEC, but it's across the Research Development and Engineering Command, because this is a much larger effort than just what we're doing here in the AMRDEC. So the technology that we'll be able to deliver will allow them to execute that mission with precision when the weather is not ideal, and allow them to do it safely, and allow them to return back and then go out and execute again day after day.